Why do we think stories matter? What makes them memorable? How do we know our story created an impact? What builds a connection between you and me is a story. With stories, it's easy to empathize. We all narrate stories of our experiences to friends and family in real life and nowadays through social media as well. I do want to tell you a story. Actually, it's a story of most of us who often browse the web, visit Facebook, Instagram, and perceive things happening around us. I'm going to ask you a question right now. How many of us have come across a post like this on social media and requesting for a donation? Almost everyone. So when we see a post like this, do we actually end up making a contribution? Yes. Or don't we hesitate because we don't know what's going to happen with our money? In social development activities throughout the world, communication between the stakeholders plays a very crucial role. And by stakeholders, I mean donors, organizers, and beneficiaries. Donors want to know why, where, and to what effect they are donating. Organizers are doing their best to encourage existing donors and prospective donors to make more donations. And beneficiaries just want to feel the warmth of being cared. It suddenly dawned upon me that while invoking donations on social media, what is evidently underutilized is showing the impact the donations have created or might create. Visual proof of an impact can act as a huge motivator and can lead to significant behavioral and motivational changes among people. A survey by Salesforce reveals that 90% of the donors believed knowing the impact of their donations is important, and 52% did not know what happened with their money. This is a big number. Now, there are several factors that affect a person's donating behavior, such as trust, emotional triggers, personal stories, sense of elation, sense of recognition. And these, even if people end up donating, they might still have questions in their minds. Getting a personal, social, and monetary gratification is extremely valuable to these donors. In order to understand more about this observation, I visited an organization in India called Snehale, who works with women, children, and LGBTQ communities. What I realized is that there is certainly room for increased transparency, and not just in terms of money spent, but also in terms of impact While studying this process of donating, it revealed a pattern. A personal motivation or peer experience creates empathy and acts as a trigger. The trigger leads to some kind of donation in money, material, or time. This is the action. Seeing the impact the donation has achieved constitutes the reward. The end result is motivation for more donations. This is the investment. This trigger, action, reward, investment pattern is often recursive and leads to more and more donations for the social causes. But what if there is no reward? That is to say, what if we don't see the impact the donation has achieved? And there is no sense of direction and little transparency. There is a lot of mistrust and confusion. What happens? Obviously, if there is no reward, there is no investment. No reward, no investment. This is like the gospel truth about the capitalistic society. This trigger, action, reward, investment pattern is known as the hook model. 
and it is explained by Nir Eyal in his book, Hooked. I want to observe how getting appropriate visual feedback can lead to increased interest and behavioral changes among the people who are donating. So I wanted to use the Hook model for conducting my social experiment. This was a very simple initiative. Participants had to paint postcards for women and children. I was going to send all of these postcards to the nonprofit and then get visual feedback from them and then pass it to the participants who participated in this event. So the first step was to create some kind of recall value by putting up posters, sending flyers, emails, and just generating curiosity about this event. This was the trigger. I then conducted this activity, and only a few people showed up, but I didn't give up. I persistently continued to involve more people and conduct this activity at other places. And we spoke about different social causes, what motivates these people to be a part of this activity, and I requested all participants to write a personal for the children that are going to receive these postcards. I conducted this activity again at my workplace, and this time people also donated, which was amazing. And I was really happy to see how enthusiastic and involved everyone was in this event. But the best part was when the nonprofit received all of these postcards and sent these visuals back to me. I was very happy. It was rewarding to see how it brought a smile on the faces of these children, receiving a message from a stranger from all across the other side of the world. Let's take a look at this video. Isn't it amazing? So when I received these visuals back, I contacted the participants. But I divided them into two groups. One group received visual feedback, which is the photographs and videos of anyone receiving their postcard. And the other group did not receive any visual feedback. It was just an email update. And I asked these participants, if they would like to be a part of these events in the future. And the result was not surprising. The people who received visual feedback were extremely overjoyed and willing to participate in these events again. And the people who did not receive any visual feedback were somewhat reluctant and non-committal. A social innovation can be as simple as this. Though simple, it has the potential to produce domino effect. My take is that visual feedback is the key to a successful sponsorship activity. And I would want everyone to participate in, in it. The, the way the digital universe evolves, it can act as a catalyst to bring about bigger changes. As a matter of fact, social media is not only a platform for better communication, but can also act, can also help create an effective and effective visual impact. Why not use this power of social media for social good? Coming back to the questions that donors usually have. Did I help someone? Did it make a difference? And was my money put to good use? While the nonprofits are doing all they can in the situations that they find themselves in, what can we do as donors? Get actively engaged. Know that the, know that the nonprofits are doing all they can. 
So engage in conversations, talk to the organizers, show concern, appreciate, and become active donors. Request for visual feedback. Now, the nonprofits cannot always give you a personalized visual feedback, but you can encourage them to give you some kind of feedback through social media or the websites. And lastly, share your story with the world and give it the attention that it deserves. Everyone can become a part of this noble and greatly humanistic collective effort to change the world around us for good. Everyone can participate in some small way and take one small step because it can lead to a sea change. If each one of us can resolve to perform one good deed every day, that could create a story to tell. Human life consists of stories. Life is a story in itself. How could we live and have no story to tell? Thank you.